Hi, man, guys. Today I am back with another video. We are back. I am man. So we have gone through the basics of grammar so far, clapping and the pullbacks. So today we are going to do the clampings. Okay, so let's get into it. We have three variations of the clamping. So the first one, front clap. The first step is to get the feeling down. So you're just going to put your foot on the ball and push it down to the ground. Continue to push it and push it and push it. So remember to keep your heel on the ground at the same time. So you are doing the clamp. When you got the feeling down, you're going to jump into it instead of just clamping it directly. So you're going to stand on your weak foot and kind of jump forwards so you can land on it with your strong foot. So this might be a bit hard in the beginning since you're not used to the movement entirely. But remember to land on the ground first and not on the ball. Because if you land on the, on the ball without having your heel touch the ground first, you're probably going to injure your ankle. For extra style on the front clamp, remember to put your weak foot in the air as you jump. This, this will make the move look much better than if you're just keeping your leg on the ground the entire time. Number two, back heel clamp. This is like a reverse front clamp. So a back heel clamp in other words. Everything we said about the front clamp applies to the back heel clamp. So everything is like the same, you're just doing it in a different way. So remember to get some pressure on the ball and your foot so you get the stuck press motion hala hala. What? So you place your foot on the ball and you roll it across your body into the back heel clamp. So for extra style or to complete the full trick, lift your other foot. I I promise you guys, this is not as dangerous as you made it look. So this is an extra tip. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Number three, there are bona clamp. The bona clamp is almost exactly like the front clamp. The difference is mostly in the motion and the execution of the move. So before you even try to do the clamp, you're going to get motion down. So what you're going to do is swing your strong leg behind your weak leg as you're going to do a Rabona. But instead of just hitting the ball, you're going to switch the weight of your body to the leg that you are swinging and end it with a clamp. After you got the motion down, you're going to start try on the ball. But remember to keep some extra pressure between your foot and the ball since it's very important for this move. So therefore you might have to land a bit higher on the ball to really do the clap. When you landed the Rabona clap, you're going to straighten out your body to restore the balance. You might wonder what you can do with these free clubs. So obviously, it's not very clever to use them in a real game. But for street football, here are some combos. Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching! Subscribe, like, comment, and do something else. Notifications. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>